the look today is like 70s inspired and we wanted to do something that's going to reflect the cool thing that Holly Fulton does. There's always like a bit of an edge to it. So the hair is set very classic, brushed off to one side. So the girls have a lot of bounce when they walk, kind of keyboard dance, 70s feel. And then the other side is pulled back really tight and clean into a double French twist. So it's almost like an undercut from one side. It's inspired by the 70s, a singer called Nusha Fox and all things kind of soft focus and blurry lined. It's the kind of sexy chic side of the 70s, not hippy dippy. We're using a cream eye colour to start off with just to get this kind of nice watercolour wash and then adding some eyeshadow called Parfait Amour on top of that for this nice kind of lavender, slightly grey lilac tone. And then the skin is slightly warmer than usual. It's got a little slight subtle tan to it. A top and bottom lash for that very kind of 70s feathery eye. But the, no mascara, it's, it's all nice and light. And then a nude lip which we're just highlighting with a slight shimmery pigment to give it a sort of central highlight just on the cupid's bow and on the center of the bottom lip. The starting point was thinking of a New York woman in the 70s, kind of en route to Studio 54 and stopping off to maybe grab some noodles on the way and that kind of slightly kitsch interpretation of Chinese things that happened at that time and a sort of real sense of Orientalism but reinterpreted into quite psychedelic kind of pop colours is what started us off. We looked at handcrafted things as well, and the sort of uh, the drive again in the 70s to make things yourself and you know, do your own embroidery and make your own clothing. And have it has that slightly naive feeling to it, which is really, really, really appeals to me rather than sort of a fully finished garment with loads of finesse. It's quite nice to see individual stitch marks and that kind of effect. She has a real sense of sort of slightly floaty, ethereal 70s, but still quite funky, if you like. So we kind of wanted to interpret that vibe into a lot of things we're doing and, and really through the fabrications, using a lot of volume. So it's still, it's still very feminine, potentially more feminine than a lot of things that we've done previously, but having sort of a lot of volume to create that sense of luxury and, and you know, very feminine pieces, I would hope. In terms of the fabrications, working a lot with denim, and we used cork this season, printing onto what we call tinsel fabric that has that kind of shimmery effect. Cork's just a kind of classic flooring that was used then, and we kind of thought it'd be fun to sort of play with that a bit more and, and use something quite new for us. So we, we hand cut all those pieces in the studio, and I love getting my hands dirty and getting involved with that kind of thing. So that was a bit of an indulgent moment for me, I guess, within it. <laughs> I think what's been the most exciting and refreshing thing for me as a designer is a kind of diverse range of women that have worn my clothing and sort of seem to be attracted to it. So it's, you know, it's a really wide age range. You can't really sort of define them and it, it never ceases to kind of surprise me when I see people, different people with it on. And that's really something that delights me as well. It's kind of a real honour for a designer to see that happening. Mm -hmm.